Dear colleagues, distinguished guests, authorities, and dear participants, it is my great honor and privilege to welcome you all to our SIPA Spring School here in Montecatini. I would like to start by expressing my gratitude to the local authorities. Here we have the Deputy Mayor of Montecatini, Dr. Alessandro Sartoni. Thank you for the invaluable support you provided to the SIPA Spring School Initiative. Right now, we are guests of the City Council Hall, the City Parliament. This building was built about a century ago. The subject of your work over the next few days is very important to us because we consider priority to protect our artistic, cultural and real estate heritage. I hope that coming back to your homes at the end of the SIPA Spring School, this experience will leave you with good memories and the desire to visit us again in the future. Many thanks to you all. My warm welcome to our SIPA Vice President, Professor Andreas Georgopoulos <laughs> from Athens. Unfortunately, we had a, a stop for a couple of years due to uh, the pandemic. And now we start again, and we start in a very nice setting here in Monte Catini. You will enjoy also the city and the beauties that we are going to get involved with to document. And I hope you enjoy the week and uh, you get back home with something substantial from this, uh, from this uh, school in order to advertise the next school which will be, let's say, next year, maybe in a very close uh, country to Italy. I hope this experience will be a way to challenge yourself, expand your knowledge, and have fun while doing it. So, get ready to embark on a journey of discovery and adventure. I can't wait to meet all of you and see all the amazing things you will achieve. We decided to introduce, introduce ourselves and uh, we would like to know, of course, your name, your uh, country, your institution and uh, what are your expectations about uh, this course and why did you, cho why did you choose this, uh, to attend this course? Jose Luis Lerma from Spain, from Valencia, and professor in photogrammetry and willing to to explain you a little bit of what we are doing about multispectral photogrammetry. I'm uh, Fabrizio Banfi, I am assistant professor, I work at the Polytechnic of Milano, and I'm a co-director of uh, ELAB. Uh, I'm Chin Peng, um, from Singapore, and I work on uh, also cultural heritage restoration, especially architectural heritage. I'm Michel Salhou, coming from Lebanon. I'm a university lecturer in the Lebanese University Center of Restoration. Uh, and I'm the founder of uh, a kind of spin-off company called Distract Solutions. It is a design-built company in the field of restoration and structural consolidation. Hi, my name is Yu Fung, originally from Singapore, working in Hong Kong now. Uh, I'm program director of a new program um, for undergraduate students called Arts, Culture and Technology. Um, part of the program deals with um, how to do 3D documentation of heritage. I'm Matilde, I'm studying in the University of Bologna and as I already, like, I just did uh, restoration and 3D modeling and I wanted to uh, increase my knowledge in these uh, areas. My name is Viola and I'm a classmate of Matilde, so we're both studying architecture engineering uh, during our bachelor in Bologna and uh, I'm here to um, learn about 3D modeling. Hello, my name is Andreas. Uh, I'm from Germany, like Heike. I'm working as an archaeologist in Fechter near Bremen and I want to get used to the workflow of photogrammetry here. Hello, my name is uh, Karim Yahya, I'm from Palestine. Uh, I just finished my master's in digital media and art 
So I'm here to learn from you, the experts, and how we can combine art, technology, and heritage preservation. Hi, I'm Maria. Um, I'm from Naples. I'm an architect specialized in architectural preservation, and I'm currently a PhD student at uh, University La Sapienza in Rome. And uh, I've had some experience with uh, laser scanning and photogrammetry, but without a theoretical background, so I wanted to, I'm here to learn how to do it properly, actually. Hi, I'm Virginia. I'm a PhD, PhD student of University of Parma. Uh, my research is uh, based on uh, software uh, um, methodology BIM applied to um, heritage building, in particular for the facility management for the public administration. Hello, my name is Todor, Todor Nanov from uh, Bulgaria. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I'm a photographer, teacher of photography. From China, now I'm a master student at Polytechnic of Milano. I want to learn more about uh, 3D digital uh, technology applied to cultural heritage uh, for my future studies. Thank you. I'm uh, Aurora. I come from Belgium. I work in digitization for the um, for two museum in Belgium. Uh, hi, my name is Arnaud de Vlieschauer and I'm from Belgium. I'm a consultant in uh, culture and tourism. Hello everyone, my name is Yogendra Yadav. Natively, I'm from New Delhi, India. And currently, I'm a PhD researcher at Politecnico di Torino. My name is Joelle Abohane. I'm from Israel. Um, I just finished my master's in, um, it's about like point cloud processing. Uh, of laser scanners. I am Renata Campiotto from the University of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I'm currently a PhD candidate in the School of Architecture. Uh, my thesis focuses on the discussion of 3D laser scanning as a tool. I'm Margarita Scamazzari. Uh, I'm a survey engineer and I have a master on conservation of monuments. I'm a researcher at the Lab of uh, Photogrammetry at National Technical University of Athens. My name is Andreas Georgopoulos. I am uh, teaching photogrammetry since 40 years now at the National Technical University in Athens. Uh, I am also the vice president of SIPA, as uh, Grazia told you yesterday. And my expectations from uh, this uh, uh, school is to expose you to what photogrammetry is how 3D modeling is working in digital form and advise you how to educate yourself because in uh, five days you cannot become experts. I'm uh, Francesco Fassi from Politecnico di Milano. Together with uh, Professoressa Cristiana Achille, I'm head of a 3D survey group, uh, a lab for uh, 3D digitalization, photogrammetry, topography. I'm from Ottawa, Canada. Uh, currently an intern architect at KWC Architects, but for, formerly a researcher at the Carleton Immersive Media Studio, where I, that's where I learned most of my... I teach geomatics for conservation in, uh, in the laboratory of restoration. And uh, I directed the, the JECO lab, uh, with which we have carried out um, different surveys of uh, complex monuments. And uh, I am on the board of uh, ICOMOS Italia.
morning, everyone. My name is Viola, and I'm a part of a member of Group One, as are uh, Andrea, Shengdan, Rachel, and Joel. And uh, during this CIPA Spring School, we had the opportunity to use different uh, surveying methods. Photo alignment uh, is an automatic one, so some points were registered after the automatic, so we manually. You can see uh, we didn't use uh, targets for this object. That means actually photogrammetry is not o is a kind of work not only about using software in a right way. Different cameras can take can generate 3D model, but it will vary on quality depending on what you need it for. <laughs> We try to, uh, while taking the pictures, also include this reference so we could uh, apply them to the MetaShape software. We were able also to take raw pictures and then in a second uh, time also to elaborate the data we actually had. So we actually had much more defined and uh, with a better quality. With a technique which is not sensitive to, uh, which doesn't need um, light to operate, uh, an active um, uh, detection method, which is the, the, the laser scanner here. For example, in my country, we, don't, we do not use this, this technique, and really we discovered that it, ha it may have a lot of applications. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> wow, this is photographic. Yeah. We are going to start by presenting uh, the different projects. So first, the SFM, uh, the photogrammetry of a detail of the facade, then the photogrammetry with the drone. Uh, some improvements, such as uh, the environment, because there uh, was a wall near our object. It is a good uh, project to show the flow, but I think it's a failed process in terms of what is the requirement. After we finished the structure from motion, and we did these two projects from different kind of score and also different kind of process and then we're starting to do a laser scanning. Virtual reality, uh, this is the most important part in uh, all of the, uh, this sector of heritage preservation. We had to do um, photo alignment, scaling with scale bar, dense cloud mesh, texture, auto mosaic, the 3D models. Um, so we had to take photos um, every one meter apart and from different elevations. A portion of a facade, so a bigger object, we try to uh, make an integration of the three different kinds of survey with different techniques. That's the two models now from the same photos. So we can see by that that it's really uh, yeah, important how you process. So these are some Okay, thank, thank you. So much, everyone.